Okay, let's make some techno. Um, I said I'm going to use only Ableton Live devices. I think I'm going to grab <clears throat> a drum rack in, and you can grab your own samples. I am going to drag a drum rack that a drum rack that contains my Tech House drums. Link in the description, yo. You can uh, fill this drum rack with whatever samples you got, but. <clears throat> Oh yes. Now, people make a huge deal out of, um, let me get rid of every other track so you can see what's going on. People make a huge deal out of techno kicks, uh, making the rumble, it's, it's not that big of a deal. You just basically <clears throat> gotta split it up um, into two, two channels. And uh, you don't even have to use the same, the same kick. A lot of people do, but let's just add a four on the floor over here in a is this a one bar clip yep let's check it out I'm gonna go down to 129 that's my favorite it seems slow at first but actually as the music pro progresses I find that techno sets around 130 129 there's a lot of time for the frequencies to resolve and it Gives it a lot of punch, so we'll go there. Okay, let's just split this in. Well, okay, for the sake of doing this, first thing we gotta do is add a bunch of effects to this channel. I'm gonna turn my voice down just a tad because I think it may be clipping a bit. I don't know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some effects. Let's go to the audio effects. Um, let's grab a delay. Let's throw that in there. I'm not even gonna mess with that actually. I'll leave it just the way it is. I'll turn it dry wet down. I'm gonna add some reverb too. In fact, uh, before I even do that, I'm gonna add the reverb first and then some saturation actually. Reverb, turn up the decay. Okay, it doesn't matter how, uh, let's go high density. Okay, and uh, then we'll add some saturation. Boom, drive and color. You know what, I'll, dri I'll, I'll grab a saturation first, then a drum bus. Actually, Saturation, now I'll turn it mono. Put a utility on there. Make it mono. Then I will add some, a drum bus. I'm not even, not even messing with most of these effects. It's almost clipping. I think what we'll do now is we'll duplicate the saturator. We'll put this one at the end. Womp, womp, womp. And use the soft clip. And then last, we will take um, some filter. And we'll cut all the highs out. You know what's even more effective than this is an EQ8. And we'll take uh, this front one here, we'll turn it into a really, really tight, it's a, what's it say, 4X, uh, a tight low pass filter, and we'll just sweep the frequency. Down. You know what else is I'm gonna add some subs to my techno, so we'll cut the, um, Cut the lows out as well, in fact. And this is 40, we'll go down to about 30. Everything below 30 hertz. And now, 
in the end, we will, let's see, let's go back to the beginning. Let's grab all of these effects and let's group them. And uh, actually, let's also add in the chain, we'll put a dry chain right? without, with, and let's put a little side chaining in there to duck some of the effects when the original kick is in the building. Dynamics, let's use glue compressor. Let's uh, solo this. Sounds good. And you know what else we can do is we can even find a kick that sounds different. Let's uh let's find a different kick. They all sound funny now. drums right does this count as using only Ableton Live devices I don't know
I'm gonna add a, a snare in two times. Presets are. I never ever use presets in, in the Ableton instruments. <laughs> to be honest, they're kind of terrible. I have a lot of friends who use FL Studio, and I don't. What? Ah, this is new stuff. <laughs> um, I have no idea uh, what's going on with FL, but I will admit that their stock synths are amazing. Got a sequencer. Boo. Can I turn it off? Mm-hmm. Okay, this 
first one, we're going to go ahead and change that to E. sub what we're gonna do what I'm gonna do for this sub is I'm going to well first all right let's go to instruments double click closes all your open windows by the way drag operator over deep 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 whoops okay I'm going to go here and uh, first thing I'm going to do is turn off all voices 
and make it mono. And then we're going to copy oscillator to all others. Now I'm just rolling these levels back. I've got <clears throat> this algorithm. Algorithm one means that um, every one of these oscillators or operators as they were <clears throat> as they are, is being modulated by the next one up in the chain, right? So because I have oscillator A, which is my main operator, uh, being modulated by B, and then B modulated by C, and C by D, if I turn B all the way down, I'm still only hearing A. What I've done here is I just want to roll it a little bit, just so I get some transients bit of frequency modulation and this down here this tone is aliasing so I want to find a pleasant spot and then I want to use the filter to roll it back a little and actually I'm going to turn the LFO on I'm going to turn off the pitch destination for all of these operators and I'm going to turn on the filter I'm going to change the wave to sample and hold I'm gonna make this sync I'm gonna turn these all the way down for now just for a moment I am going to use one of those drum buses, actually, because I love the way it accentuates the subs. You'll hear what I mean, listen. Saturator at the end with a soft clip to keep it from clipping. And I'll roll it down. Now, because it's mono, listen, one, one note cu cuts off the other. Okay, I'm going to turn this drive all the way down. OBS. <laughs> Maybe. All right. And I'm um, going to turn off all of these synths.
Is it amazing? No, not yet. But um, <clears throat> this is the start of something good. Uh, after my party that I'm playing soon, um, I'm going to be playing an after party in a different city the following night, and I'm going to be doing techno. So this is really going to come in handy. I'm going to uh, <clears throat> transfer this entire set over to the force, and that's going to be sweet. I also got some serious, serious surprises coming up in the next like week or two. So stay tuned. Love you guys. Have a fantastic, oh man, spring soon, actually. <laughs> Rest of your winter. Be blessed. Thank you.